Good morning, Fellowship High Crest. My name is Jill Rice, and I am here today on September 5th with your morning jump start. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 8, so go ahead and join me there as I start reading in verse number 1. It says this, Listen as wisdom calls out. Hear as understanding raises her voice. On the hilltop, along the road, she takes her stand at the crossroads. By the gates, at the entrance to the town, on the road leading in, she cries aloud, I call to you, all, to all of you. I raise my voice to all people. You simple people, use good judgment, you foolish people. Show some understanding. Listen to me, for I have important things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. My advice is wholesome. There is nothing devious or crooked in it. My words are plain to anyone with understanding, clear to those with knowledge. Choose my instruction rather than silver and knowledge rather than pure gold, for wisdom is far more valuable than rubies nothing you desire can compare with it all right today we get to talk about wisdom um, which is great because we're in Proverbs which is all about wisdom um, it was written by Solomon who um, if you know one of his his famous kind of requests God's uh, told him he could have anything and he requested wisdom from God and um, he wrote the book of Proverbs and so um, I, my, my two takeaways today is this is number one um, wisdom is just not that hard to find right? Uh, we see that here in the first few verses. It says, wisdom's calling out, is raising her voice. It's like it's yelling at us. Um, in two and three, it's, it's there at the crossroads. Um, it's where everybody is walking through. It's at the entrance to the town. You almost can't miss it. It's like it's like a flashing billboard for everybody to see. So why don't we take it? It's like, well, it's easy to find, but we still have to make the choice to do it. And so we say wisdom is this. It's not only knowing what the right thing to do is, but it's applying it to our lives consistently over time. So it's knowing truth and then living it out consistently over time. So uh, wisdom's not that hard to find, but it may be harder to live it out. Um, and then the second one is this, man, it is worth it. Down there in um, verses 10 and 11, it says, my instruction and choose my instruction rather than silver and gold and then it's far more valuable than rubies and like it may seem that like the the more attractive thing the easier thing um it will the thing that's going to get you maybe dividends quicker faster is is what you should do but um just remembering like the wise choice the right choice which we often know what it is um it may be the harder choice it may be the harder road, the harder path. God, God never promises us that doing the right thing is going to be the easy thing. Um, in fact, he promises us in Psalm 23 that he's going to walk with us through the valley of the shadow of death. Um, as we're walking through Romans, he promises that, so that we are going to have struggles um, and that he's going to be with us through those struggles. Um, but that the wise road um, leads to things that are far more valuable than any riches the world can bring. And that's because it brings us relationship with God. Um, it brings us closest, closer to our Father and it brings us um, into people that reflect Him and that get to live out His purpose and calling, that get to um, be in glory with Him. And, and guys, that that is so much more valuable than having to live through the heartache of making the bad choices in our lives. So I hope this is an encouragement to you. Remember that one, wisdom's just not that hard to find, but it is a lot harder to live out sometimes. And number two, then it's, it's worth it. Thanks for joining us today. Continue to power up, pour in, and spill out. Thanks for joining us.